Yes, yeah, yeah we I were saw that. So, yeah. um, what's your name? Why are you out here today? I am David, and I'm out here to uh, stop the unlawful prohibition of marijuana. And how are you doing that? Uh, by getting out into the middle of, uh, in front of Independence Mall and smoking weed. What happened today? Um, we went out, there were speakers, I actually sang a song, because I'm in Federal Detention of the Musical, September 11th and 9-11, never forget, it. thank you very much. Uh, and that was one of the ways, and then being in the group, getting high with the rest of us, showing them that while we were smoking weed, we're not actually harming anybody at all. Like. The amount of people that have been killed, what's up? Uh, the amount of people that have been uh, killed smoking weed is uh, this many, as a, compared to alcohol or cigarettes. And I actually like alcohol more than weed, to be honest. Yeah, but I still believe that it's ridiculous that they can't, I can't have a glass of red wine and they can't smoke a joint and then just be cool people together and listen to jazz. I uh, saw you having a conversation with one of the officers over there, Captain O'Brien. Is that, uh, is he the guy that looks like Alec Baldwin? Yeah. Okay. What was that conversation like? Oh, uh, he was just, at first he was trying to tell us that jobs, his jo or jobs were more important than family or uh, what they believe is right, or what he believes is right, which is a little terrifying. Because I, I, that just sounds like some Citizen Kane. He's going to end up on his deathbed just being like, Mary Jane, and we're not going to know what that means. Uh, but I was talking to him also about just the whole idea of, he's like, you, you got to think about your jobs first, even over what you believe is right. And I'm like, but if marijuana was legal, we wouldn't have to worry about our jobs for smoking a joint. That really, that was the part he couldn't understand. I'm like, if I smoke, if I or if I drink a whole bunch on the weekend and then come in and do my job, my boss doesn't care. If I smoke on the weekend or, you know, after work, my boss doesn't care. He's completely fine with it. He just, as long as I'm not impairing myself on his time, he doesn't care. And that's what it should be in all jobs. Are there other issues that you care about deeply and what is... Federal Detention the Musical. Uh, other issues I care about deeply, um, I really hate hack comedy, which is, uh, I'm a comedian, sorry. Uh, <laughs> that's that's the other big issue for me. Um, I don't know, I, I, NSA and everything else, like, that that irks me in ways where it's just like, uh, like they're, they're doing it, and there's not much we can do against it, and that's terrifying. Well, you're making art against it, and yeah. so talk oh. about that. What's Federal Detention the Musical? Federal Detention the Musical is, uh, it's actually inspired by Smokedown number no. 5, where Smokedown number no. 4, where we had 500,000, or not 500,000, 500 people here. 500,000! No, we have 500 people here smoking weed on Smokedown 4. Smokedown 5, there were 100 cops, literally, not like exaggerating, there were 100 cops here. And they arrested N.A. Poe and Adam Kokesh and sent them to the Federal Detention Center right down the block uh, for, seven, or for five days. So we made, me and Steve Miller Miller made a musical about it, uh, about the events leading up to Smoke Down and uh, people getting arrested and getting sent to the Federal Detention Center. And it's a whole musical, it's all these songs, it's an hour and a half full musical premiering on September 11th. I'm actually playing N.A. Poe. Uh, there will be a mustache added to my face. <laughs> Uh, Any um, thoughts on who's playing Kokesh? Kokesh is actually being played by a comic named how the fuck is it? Dan Scully. Okay. And he looks like Kokesh. We put a picture of him up on the Panic Hour. And uh, he's a little uh, less militaristic, but he's been working out and buffing up, and he looks like Kokesh. Where can people learn more about you? Uh, me or in general? Uh, if you go to the Panic Hour page or Federal Detention, the musical is the uh, website for the musical. You can order tickets there. Premiere September 11th at 9/11. It's easy to remember because you'll never forget. Uh, and then September 14th, or yeah, 14th and 15th at 420. We're doing two matinees at Underground Arts. Thank you. No problem. Thank you very much.